Yes, so my country people, congratulations are in order for our old mama Yongi, our Everly Swiss system, my country people. It is the auto gale for me, oh, a way. So you can tell people rap outside for head, mama na wow, but uh, my country make una see the way money they sweet for this woman body. See the way this woman is just speaking money all over her body na wow. Can you believe or can you imagine that this is a 60 year old woman? See her 60 year old look good or not. See her as mama fresh now. Even some of our staff, uh, some ladies out there will be 20, 25 years. They look like some people past. My country people make una see this woman. See as this woman look like some of our future. My country make you celebrate. If they see grace, they celebrate grace. Anyway, today is just all about mama. Make una not mind me. Una not say na so near they talk. Uh, hey, any, any, ah, uh, my country people una not go verse for me. But my country people, we want to celebrate mama today. For most of now, we don't know this one, they celebrate uh, based on say, uh, mama not to appear for our streets again based on one or two things like that. And I don't say, uh, body not be firewood. And I don't say, body not be young forever. Again, where body go reach, you know, go feel they do that way they do before. But congratulations to mama as she marked her 60th birthday today. My country people, the talented Nollywood actress and producer, Ungozi Umosu. Although Igbo Indigi began her career in Yoruba film, she made her home video debut in Living in Bondage and since then has become a force to record in the film industry with her perfect interpretation of roles. Igbozi Uwosu, a native of Arochuku in Abia State, southeastern Nigeria, was born on August 1st, 1963 and grew up in Lagos. She had her primary education at St. Paul Agricultural School in Dioro, then proceeded to Maryland Comprehensive High School in Keja and concluded her high school at East Rosary High School. Her father died in during the Nigerian Civil War while fighting on the Biafra side. In 2012, the veteran actress battled a kidney-related disease which affected her career. She eventually traveled abroad through the aid of the government and some organizations that extended a hand of help to all my country people. Since then, who also has had a professional acting training under the leadership of Reverend Frebian Oko at Royal Theatre Art Club School. She has won a number of awards in Yoruba movies, ranging from Best Actress in Yoruba to Best Upcoming Actress in Yoruba. Who also also bought awards in English movies, my country. You will not be smart enough. You know. Now, that's to say mama and a popular face, but uh, you go struck to say mama is very, very diversified because uh, as an evil woman, she did not let her, you know, her root in that her because uh, she started her career in Yoruba movies. Who also began acting as far back as school days where she attended acting classes, most of which were in the Yoruba language. She played Madame V. Boots in the television series Ripples. She is attributed to be the first actress to kiss while on set with Kenneth Okonkwo in popular movie Living in Bondage. While speaking on sharing the first kiss on the set, an old interview with Vanguard, the veteran actress said, When I kissed Andy, Kenneth Okonkwo, they could not believe it because then, we had not gotten the boldness we have now. So, kissing someone on set at an initial stage demanded a lot of boldness. My country people, I don't see and say, these people now, people will set foundation for Nollywood industry. You know, I don't see them. These people now, people will be saying they, they, they are called pay setters because not be now when we say, oh, our world don't jabrata, I don't jagra buba, everything don't scatter, everybody, I don't see. Yeah. Even small picky will start in Hollywood today. If you do anything, if you just, you know, go naked on set. Then when we say, oh, no, and prestige of the industry was kept and maintained. Now, people like this, now get boldness despite the odds and despite sight talks from different angles. Now, then get the boldness to set some certain paces and some certain foundation now a person like mama who was we supposed to cut cap give but my country people today happens to be a birthday or make we set our congratulations and put them in order because uh, even our colleagues are taking to the comment section to congratulate her on a beautiful day my country people let's enter the comment section now and take some comments as our colleagues celebrate and honor her Chioma Akota said happy birthday beautiful mama yes so oh. mama is indeed very beautiful and elegant too oh. This other person here says, Zix Olama, happy birthday, my mama. Wish you long life, good health, and happiness. This other person said, happy birthday, mama Tiwa. Eskelebe, Tiole, baby. I wish you long life and prosperity, ma. This other person said, happy birthday, mama. Voice of the East said, happy 60th birthday, Odogu Wine. 
Ogologo undu na aru siri ikebu ekpere anyi beregi Chuku gozi egi Yes, so my country people This other person said Happy as birthday to you At official ungozi unwosu Age with grace in good health and enjoy Said Mona Lisa Chindu Yes, so my country people Make you enter comment section May you to wish mama a happy birthday oh. And if you like this mama attire way in the sister Especially this her headgear May yourself give her a like And may you share this video And as you do so now go bless her We'll see you for our next one Bye guys